What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Cat Luigi from Super Mario. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw an oval for the nose. We're gonna start right in the middle at the very top, come all the way around towards the bottom of the nose and bring that back up towards the top. Now I want to tuck the eyes in behind the nose, leaving a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're going to draw an oval going up, round out the eye, and just pull that in towards the side of the nose. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. I want to bring that up towards the same height, come down the side, and then back in towards the nose. Now I'm draw two circles pushed towards the inside for the iris. Let's start from the inside of the left eye, go all the way around, then again, just tucking that in behind the nose. Let's trace the iris along the inside of the pupil, go all the way around, and then in. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top of the pupil. And then we'll fill the outside of the pupils in black, going around the highlight. Now we're gonna move down and tuck the mustache in underneath the nose. Let's start over on the left side. Just gonna bend this around the eye and then up towards the side. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now from the end, we're gonna curl the mustache, coming all the way down towards the bottom and just pull that up in the middle underneath the nose. Let's go up to the top and add in the eyebrows. On top of the left eye, start with a curve going up and then down. And we'll line that up on the right. Let's go back to the left side. We want to go a little bit higher in the middle and then back down. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now I want to add that trim going around the face. Let's start in between the eyebrows with a curve. Going up and then down. Let's go to the outside of the eyebrow, bend this around, come down around the mustache, and then bring that in towards the center. Now I'm going to bring this all the way around the right side. Again, going around the mustache, going up, and then in towards the eyebrow. Let's add some hair along the side. Start on the left, and down, out. And then from here we're going to work our way around the suit. Let's start from the left side of the head, bend this out and then up. Let's line this up on the right. Do the same thing going up. Now from the end, we just want to bend this down and then in towards the bottom of the head. Let's round out the ends. Going up, bending that in. I'm going to bend this in and then up towards the base of the ears. I'm going to draw a straight angle line going along the base of the ear up towards the top of the head. So we'll start with the left. Going up with a straight line to right about there. And do the same thing on the right. Now let's close off the top with a curve. Going up and then down. Now you connect these two points with a half circle for the ear. Let's start from the top, go all the way up, come around, and then back down. Let's add a trim along the inside of the ear. Let's start from the top, bend this in, just taper that down towards the inside. And then we'll trace this area along the inside. Let's start with a straight line going across the bottom and then close off the top. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw that patch in the center of the body. We we'll start on the left side underneath the head, draw an oval. Going all the way down toward the bottom, just bend that back up on the right side. 
Let's move out and draw the side of the body. So we're going to step down, bring this around, and then in. And then we'll line that up on the right side. Let's raise the left arm, starting underneath the head, bring this out, and then up towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw in the thumb. We're going to draw a circle, but we're not going to close it off on the inside. Let's layer three circles along the outside for the fingers. Start from the side of the thumb, go all the way around, and then back in. Step down, draw another circle, tucking that up under the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Let's go back up to the wrist, then the glove coming in, around, and just tuck that up underneath that finger. And then we want to add a patch in the center of the hand with a curve. Let's go to the bottom of the hand, then the arm coming down and in towards the side of the body. Now we're also going to add a trim along the wrist. Stepping in, just follow that same curve. Now let's move over, draw the right arm, just lower down. Let's start from the top of the body, put it down and then out towards the wrist. Now we're going to do the same thing. Let's start with the thumb, with that circle, and just pulling that up. Let's layer those three circles for the fingers. Starting the side of the thumb, step down, on the second, and then the third, tucking that up underneath. Let's go back up to the wrist, draw the edge of the palm, going in behind that finger, and step up, for the arm coming up in behind the body. Let's add that trim across the wrist, and we're also going to add that patch in the center of the palm. Now let's move down in the center and add a curve. Starting from the left, then it's up, and then down. Let's leave a small gap in the center, pull the left side, bend the leg, go out, and then down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now from the left side, I'm just going to round out the bottom of the foot, and then curl in the first toe. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's layer two more toes on either side. Start from the bottom, step all the way around, and then in, and out, draw that again. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Starting from the left, then it's out, and then down on top of the toe. We're also going to separate the ankle with a curve, coming down and then up. And now we're going to bring the tail coming out from the left side. Let's start from the hip, then it's down and then up. Let's round out the tail. And we want to follow the same curve coming back in toward the leg. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Cat Luigi from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.